Okay, I want to talk about a tool that has saved me a bunch of time. It's called Config Switch. And this tool, what it does is it's 100% free to use and you can donate if you'd like to kind of keep this thing free, but it is 100% free. And all you got to do is log in with your Salesforce credentials. So one, super easy to use, two, free to use. Um, and what I've used it for is in the instances where I've needed to turn off automation for something like a data load or sometimes when I'm working in like a sandbox environment and I have like a teammate and some of their automation is like blocking mine. It's just a really cool way to get a list of all your automation and then just like go and turn a button off versus going and hunting it down, finding where it's at, f finding like the latest active version, turning that one off, going back in to the right one, turning it on. Um, so it's just an easier way to see it all, turn it all off at the same time if you wanted to, turn specific ones off if you want to. Um, so I use it for those reasons where, you know, sometimes I'll hit an error in a data load and I got to flip stuff off. Or if I'm testing something in a sandbox and my automation is getting blocked by somebody else's easy way for me to just turn it off and on. So those are the two use cases I've used it for. You'll click this. It's going to bring us over to a page that looks like this. Okay. So you'll see this first and then you select, you want sandbox or production. I'm logged into my trailhead account. So we're just going to do production. I'll hit log in and then it's going to bring me to a page where I can log out of there or I can get the metadata. So getting the metadata is what you got to do first. What that means is it's just going to kind of query your org and get that automation so that it has it. So we'll click query metadata. That's going to take just a second, not too long. And then it's going to bring you to a page like this. So now we see in my Pizza Planet uh, dev org here, I have validation rules, workflow rules, process flows, triggers, and you can click through these, right, and see what they are. So really cool that I can see that kind of stuff. Like, oh, hey, this is what's turned on, this is what's turned off. So it looks like these are a lot of flows, all your kind of flows and process builders, uh, workflows, validation rules. And you can either individually turn them on or off um, you can disable them all at the same time, enable all, um, you can just go like that, right? And disable them all if you wanted to. Uh, but what I like is that in most cases, you're not going to do that. And it's really just kind of toggling on and off on some of these. And so I like that you have that control where it's not just an all or nothing. And so for this one here, if we look at it, this is a validation rule and I right now have this one turned off. So, uh, for the sake of the time here, I've pulled that up. And this is going to be on my case, okay? And if we go to the validation rules, it's like the only one. And you can see it's inactive. It's not here. So if I wanted to turn this thing back on, I'd hit on. And that's actually not going to turn it on. So if I come back over here and refresh, you'll still see that this is turned off. So it is also nice that way where if you accidentally click one of these when you're in this part of the environment, it's not accidentally going to... Uh, enable something or disable something. What you have to do is you have to click deploy changes. So this was off. If we want to turn it on, I hit deploy changes. This will take a second. It's going to run here. Say that I wanted to turn that on, hit close. All right, well now if we refresh, you're going to see that this validation rule is back to active. So really cool way, like I said, to turn on and off things and really quick and easy to jump into. Um, so once again, hope this tool was helpful for you. Uh, and like always, you can always join our community. You can join my course, The Simple Path to Salesforce for 150 bucks at the moment. Um, you'll get access to our free courses, or sorry, our free uh, private community as well, where it's me and 85 plus other people in there learning Salesforce. Um, so if that's a route you want to take, feel free to join us over there. And uh, we hope to see you over there if that is you. If not, feel free to jump over to my newsletter, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, all that stuff's always free. Um, including my website. There's a bunch of free stuff on there too. Um, and if you can't find anything there, feel free to comment in the section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks.